Good thing I want to talk about grip pressure. We had a really interesting comment that was left, and I want to go through it, parse it out a little bit, and I think it will be, it will be a good discussion of the uh, the grip pressure. Now, before we get into that, I'm uh, back in my office. I've got the the echo retardant foam, and I've got a fruity neon light behind me. Hopefully, the audio is good. It's been fixed. Maybe not though. Like I did a few tests, and I'm like, ugh, I don't know. We will see if the audio is okay. Okay, let's get into the question or the, the comment. All right, and like I said, I thought this was really interesting because you've got a guy who's like M class, so he's a, a good shooter. But I read through this and it's like, man, I'd want to change everything this guy's doing. Isn't that interesting? All right, not necessarily saying this is the right way to do it, but it got me to M class, so it has worked so far. Okay, I normally tense up the closer I am to the target. If I'm within five yards, I just grip and rip. I don't even look at the dot. Within 10, grip hard with the left, ease off a hair on the right. See this first sight picture, send two. At 15 yards, I ease up more with both hands, send two with color confirmation. Outside of 15 yards, I see my dot every time. Outside of 35 yards, everything is more or less relaxed, and I'm just focused on a good straight pull. And this comment, like I said, it struck me as interesting because this guy does really well, better than most people. At the same time, it's also true that I would want to change everything he's doing. But it's also true that at his level is like very acceptable and he's getting a pretty good result. It's kind of fun to talk about this. So let me just go through this comment piece by piece. All right. He says, I normally tense up the closer I'm to the target. So when you get Closer to the targets, like in my opinion, you want to emphasize relaxing. So you look at a spot and the gun transitions around. You're not like trying to bear down on the gun with your firing hand because, you know, you get trigger freeze that way. Like, the more I clamp on with my left hand, it's like you, probably nothing bad will happen uh, with my support hand. But, you know, you start bearing down on it enough. There's going to be tension that works its way into other parts of your bodies. It, it Pensing up when you're closer is the, the natural human tendency, but it's not what I want. I would want the opposite, where I try to stay relaxed and maintain the precision. He also says, if I'm within five, I just grip it and rip. Grip it and rip. I don't even look at the dot. Now, that's honestly, like to get you to M class in USPSA, that's fine. You can just index hose at five yards, seven yards. It's going to be consistent enough that you'll do pretty well. Probably not going to be like a champion, but you could probably do pretty well. And this is one thing that annoys people about USPSA is that you can shoot this way and do okay with it. But again, it's like this isn't it's not really the way to do it is to to grip it and rip it and shoot without referencing your sights. Uh, what I would tell people is, hey, if the gun's at my eye target line, I'm going to see the sight either way. So the site should be at my eye target line with, you know, giving me better accountability for what I'm doing. And it's not going to slow me down at all. That's like kind of a higher level view of it. But again, you can do pretty well. Just grip it, rip it, index hose. Like, yeah, you could do okay with that. It's not systematically going to be as good as you want, but it'll be okay. Within 10 yards, grip hard with the left, ease off a hair on the right. Uh, and I see the first site picture and send too. So what he's saying here is like, yep, see the, see the site. See the dot there, pull the trigger twice. Now, again, for higher level guys, I'd say you're if the gun's between like the, the target and your eye, you should see what the sight's doing the whole time. It's sort of nonsensical for me to shoot, engage a target at 10 yards and not see what the sight's doing during the engagement. Right? I'd like look at spot, sight comes to where I'm looking, and then I pulling the trigger, boom, boom. The the dot is doing something in recoil. Like, why would I not? be aware of that and be able to articulate it. Like that doesn't really make sense to me. It's like, it's kind of like you're just closing your eyes and sending it. Um, however, you can get to M class doing this. You can get to M class doing that. And that's just true. Um, okay. At 15 yards, I ease up more with both hands and send two with color confirmation. Now, why? Like, I don't really like this. Like it's the natural tendency. I think that as the targets get further away, People want to kind of relax a little bit and just focus on pulling the trigger straight. But that makes the gun, you I mean, it gives you perception that it's recoiling more and it's kind of, that'll throw you off too. Like I want to just keep my technique the same where it's like grip pressure, like aggressive posture. And I'm like aggressively trying to return the gun. 
They don't want to tense up at close range and like try to go faster. And at distance, I don't want to, I don't want to give into the temptation to loosen up because then I'm going to lose a lot of speed. I want to maintain that aggression. So like, I don't really agree with this, but again, if you're shooting at the M level, yeah, you just relax your hands a little bit, make sure you send them straight. That'll be fine at 15 yards. He says, outside of 15, I see my dot every time. At 35, everything is more or less relaxed, and I'm just focused on a good straight pull. Like I said, yeah, this is the natural tendency. Um, for most matches, like if, if you're like one of the better guys, one of the M-class guys at the match, all you have to do is just relax a little bit and shoot straight at 35 yards, and you will beat pretty much everyone else who just cannot shoot straight at 35 yards, no matter what. It won't matter. Anyway, this comment jumped out at me because I just thought it was so interesting. It's, 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 there's a lot of truth in it, right? It's a guy who does pretty well at competitive shooting, I would say. Um, and you can do well with these techniques, but not the absolute best. In, in which case, I would say, hey, just change everything you're doing to do like a little bit better. You, you'd you want to change everything. And it's an interesting thing to me to think about shooting that way. It's like, it's, it's, uh, you get to a certain point and like in order to get further, you've got to change a lot of stuff that you're doing. Very, very interesting. Uh, I want to talk more about grip and grip pressure. If you guys have questions or comments, go ahead and put them down below. That would be super.